version upticks footage you've already imported into your project and finds newer or older versions of that footage. For example, here I have a uh, PSD file, and if I click on the up arrow, it finds that I have saved a newer version of that file. And I can keep on going up to version 4, which is my most recent, and I can go back down to version 1, which was the original. Now, I can skip immediately to the most recent version by holding down the shift key and clicking on the arrow. Or I can go all the way back to the first version by again holding the shift key and clicking the down arrow. As you can imagine, this is also very useful for multi-pass compositing when you're dealing with 3D elements. So here we have an example where we have all these different versions, and I'm on the most recent one right now, I'm on version 15. But say I want to go back down to my very first version. I can select all of my, uh, my footage, hold down the shift key, and hit the down arrow. I'm going all the way back down to version 1. And then I can increment up one at a time through my different versions. Now you see right there, it skips straight from version 4 to version 15. Uh, it is smart enough to know that these versions between did not exist, so it skips any versions that are not available. Now this also works with comp names and folder names. So for example, this comp name has a V001 in it. So I can increment that up as well. You can even do multiples at the same time. So if I select all of that footage and that comp name, it goes that goes down to V2 and those go down to V4. Now the one requirement in doing this is that all your version numbers have a, uh, a standard prefix before them. In this case I'm using V. You can set that in the settings, which I'll show in a moment. But the only difference between the versions of footage that you are incrementing between can be this version. So, for example, here is the path of a piece of this footage. Now you can see there's a shot number in here, and it's a, it knows that that is not actually a version number, but then there's a version number here that's a folder, and then a version number here in the footage name. So what it can do is find each of these version numbers and, sorry, version numbers, and increment them up by one or down by one, or find the most recent or oldest version. Now, if this path had a date in it, and the date had changed between the different versions of your footage, it would not work because it does not know that there's another difference in there that it can't detect. So that would break the script if there are dates or other things like that that are differentiating your different pieces of footage. So there are a few settings that we can change here. So this question mark is a settings button. So the first is safe mode. Now what safe mode does is it makes sure that, for example, um, if we change this to Marv1, that's a name of something, I'm not intending that to be a version number, but because there's a V in front of it, there's a possibility it would think that was a version number. And right now, you can see it's going to error saying it can't find that, and that's because I have safe mode on. Now what safe mode does is it expects either an underscore, or a period, or a space, or anything that delineates it from the previous um, name. So some, if there's something there, now it's going to see that as a version. Now I can version that. So if I were to turn that off, I would be able to put anything in there as long as there's a V before a number and it would work. So there may be cases where you're using it where you need to turn that off. Suppress errors. You saw that I errored when it didn't have a version number in there. If that gets annoying, if um, you can turn that off and then you won't get that error anymore. Um, you can hide the settings button and it's going to tell you how to get back to the settings, but I find it useful not to have this because it just clutters up the user interface and it's such a simple little script and you can make it very small, it's nice not to have that little question mark there. So as it says, you can hold down the Option or Alt on PC plus Shift and click on either of these buttons to get the settings back. So if I save this, you can see there's no there, nothing there, I can't click on it to get in there, but if I hold down Option plus Shift and then click on either of these, it comes back and you can see that in the rollover state there it had a hint that told you that that's what you could do. So again I can unclick that and my settings come back. Version prefix, as I said you can change that so right now it's V and that's probably what everyone's going to want it as but if you are using a different pipeline where that was something else you could change that to anything else. Version range, um, this has to do with when I was versioning, um, you noticed when I went to ver version 4 to version 15 uh, I was skipping a whole bunch, and you need to limit how far it searches for that additional version. So 25 is a fairly reasonable number to search within, but say if you were going from version 4 to version 30, 
that's outside the range of the 25 so that you would need to up this number higher for it to actually work uh, but 25 is probably good for most people so as I said it works on comps it also works on folders so if I change this to a VO1 now I can version this up and down thank you for watching and I hope you find version up as useful as I do